Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Android TV on your Windows PC using VirtualBox and this is a step-by-step -step quick guide. Whether you want to test your Android TV applications or just explore the Smart TV interface on your computer, this tutorial has got you covered. So without any further ado, let's jump in. First of all, open your favorite browser and on the URL bar, type VirtualBox. Hit enter and click on this Oracle VirtualBox official website link and then click on this download button and finally you need to click on Windows hosts. Now an exe file will get installed. Double click on the .exe file to set up the installation wizard then click on accept, click on next, next and follow the on screen instructions just like me and install the Oracle VirtualBox. Finally click on finish and you can see this is the VirtualBox manager. Before doing anything, we need to go to the browser again and paste the link that I have given in the description box. This is the link for mega.ng and this is the file file link for android tvpy.rar and the file size is 982 MB. So please make sure you have enough data balance. Now once this is downloaded, navigate to the download location and as this is a .rar file, we need to extract it using 7g or winrar. Once this is extracted successfully, go to the folder and you can see this is the android tvpy.ova file. So now let's go to the manager, click on import and now select the drop down at the right side and now find the android tvpy.ova file, click on open, click on next and now you can change the ram allocation like in my case i would like, like to give 4096 mb that is 4 gb and then cpu core i would like to allocate 4 cpu cores okay before doing anything please make sure you select include all network adapter mac address now click on finish and it will take some time for importing the appliances once this is done you can see the android tv5 this is powered off click on the start button to power on your virtual machine Once the setup menu appears, don't click on any button, it will get installed automatically. So just be patient while it gets installed on your system. Select device tab then USB and please make sure you select the USB keyboard from the list so that you can use your keyboard for the navigation. Now to get it full screen mode, go to view then full screen mode or press the host plus F button. Host means the right control button on the keyboard. So press right control and F button or just select the option and then click on switch. Now you can see this is in full screen mode. Okay, so now let's go to device section again and please make sure you are inside USB keyboard mode. And now you can press the up and down arrow on your keyboard to navigate upwards or downwards and hit enter for select a particular option. Now hit enter over here to connect to the virtual Wi-Fi and this is connected successfully. Now it will check for updates, it may take up to 5 minutes so please be patient. Once this is completely up to date, now you need to enter your email id and the password for login. After a successful login, you will see this kind of page. So just click on continue then no thanks and select android tv over here just click on the next button then click on done and finally you are at the welcome screen of your android tv so just make sure you are inside the usb keyboard mode so that you can use the right and left arrow key on the keyboard to navigate right or left and hit enter for selecting a particular option like in my case this is youtube okay so you can now sign in using your phone or remote so now uh, if you want to go backward just press the escape button on the keyboard and now uh, let's go to google play store to install some application you can see all the applications are available that are available on your real android tv and you can just select a particular application then click on install button to get it installed within few minutes so this was the complete video thank you for watching the video till the end see you in the next video till then stay safe and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box thank you